Hello, hello, this is Donna Marie Johnson. I am coming to you from the Atlanta, Georgia area. I'm actually in Coweta County, about 30 minutes south of Atlanta. It's a pleasure and an honor to have you join me today. Thank you very much for listening in. I am also um, known as Lead Like a Queen. If you're following me already or if you would like to follow me, Lead Like a Queen is my username usually on most of the major social networks. But you can also find all of my links, including my LinkedIn LinkedIn link, by going to my one-page profile at authordonnamarie.com. A-U-T-H-O-R, authordonnamarie.com. All right, so I am so excited to come to you again on this podcast. I've been podcasting since about 2010, and I absolutely love it. And I lost my love for it for a little while because I was hearing things like, oh, you know, if you're not monetizing your podcast, then it's a waste of time, yada, yada, yada. And I began to agree with them, but it was because I was just being burnt out in general from everything, <laughs> not just from doing the podcast. And what happened was, um, you know, I just was not, um, my business structure at that time just was not working for me. And I became a bit burnt out. So I stopped doing all the interviews and things and I took a long break from podcasting. As I've returned to podcasting, I've just regained my love and joy of sharing in this format. Um, I'm a blogger too. The blog is at leadlikeaqueen.biz or leadlikeaqueen.com. Both will go to the same website. I just got through eating, so excuse the um, some of my pauses here. I'm trying to uh, get myself together. Let me drink some water too. So. What I was saying is that I have regained my joy and love of podcasting. Whether or not this was monetized, I would still love it. And I did start to monetize it. That is not something that, um, that I, it's, it's not no longer an optional thing for me. I have to start monetizing my business in better ways. One of which is through the advertising that I can do here through the anchor.fm platform, but also through Patreon. And so I'm gonna share more with you about how you can become a patron through Patreon and the perks that come along with that. I'm not gonna share in detail about that just yet. Give me a minute, we'll get to that. All right, so I wanna make sure that you all understand that this podcast is the Plant Your Seeds of Transformation podcast. and the show notes at plantyourseeds.show. And the reason for the name of Plant Your Seeds of Transformation is because, as I talked about in a previous episode, there's an intentionality that comes into how you conduct yourself in life and in business. And, you know, you can have a forest that just grows and They call it the wild, they call it the jungle, they call it other names for a reason because nobody's cultivating that forest or that jungle, right? Nobody's cultivating that. Do you want your life to be a jungle or do you want your life to be more like a garden where you intentionally cultivate specific things for yourself for specific reasons? for based on a specific vision what's more important to you just to let life happen as moms you know those of you who are listening to me who are mothers or who are parents you might understand this concept of cultivation because you probably have certain hopes and dreams for your children and want to cultivate them so that they'll be able to have a life that's based off vision for their lives instead of just doing whatever happens. If you're listening to this podcast, most likely you are a person with that type of mindset that's very intentional um, for yourself, but also for your family. So those 
things are things that we have to think about as we continue to move forward in our lives. When I was younger, I had certain dreams and and vision for myself, and it fell off at some point. Um, You know, you, you have to make a decision that that is going to stay important to you. I let that go for a while, no more. You know, I went back to school for a reason because I knew that I needed to learn how to guide my, not just my career, but my life. The school I chose is a school that um, has a spiritual orientation. And so I'm really grateful, really super grateful that I had the influence of these teachers who are not just smart people, but they are um, very intentional and they're very spiritual, very spiritually guided. And I'm so grateful um, that I've had these types of influences over my life over these last several years that I've been in school. So um, backtrack, I graduated (laughs) from a master's program in December and now I'm in a um, MBA program. So my degrees are, my degree that I actually obtained already is in executive leadership and my current degree is in executive coaching. And so I'm being trained as a coach um, on a whole new level. I've been through coaching training before, but it was not um, centered within the my faith structure. My faith structure is based around the Holy Bible. And my belief is in the power of Jesus Christ and his death, his birth, his death, and his resurrection. And so being trained by teachers who have the same spiritual foundation that I do has been extremely powerful for me in ways that I never expected before. But I was very intentional in choosing this specific school, even though a different school, well-known school, had actually accepted me first. And so I'm just using myself as an example of how you can use um, your vision to create an intentional life for yourself. Plant your own seeds of transformation. I was a homemaker and a homeschooler for many years. Um, My kids were, I think, okay, so my oldest was a second grader when we started homeschooling, and now she's 20. (laughs) And so it has just been a wonderful um, opportunity for me. I know not all families are able to homeschool, but it was a wonderful opportunity for me and for our children, I believe, to be able to homeschool. It helped them in in a lot of different ways. Um, Primarily, it helped them to um, develop a spiritual foundation as they continued in their learning journeys. And I'm really grateful that I had that opportunity to influence them in that way to show them what it means to be spiritual and not just religious, not just going to church, but actually read the Bible for yourself. Um, I believe that everybody in the world should read the Bible for themselves. I believe that that Bible, if you open your heart to hear, it will speak to you. And that's my belief. And I taught that to my children and they embrace that now for themselves. I don't push religion on them. I promote continuing to grow spiritually with them. I influence them in that way. And I'm really grateful that I've been able to do that. And part of that process has included helping them understand that God is intentional, helping them understand that, you know, we're we're not put on this earth just to breathe air and eat and drink and do the things that happen after you eat and drink. That's not our purpose. We're not just animals dwelling on the face of the earth. We are spirits, we have souls, and we live in bodies. And as a result of being made in the image of God, God was very intentional. He created us. (laughs) He created this earth that we live on very intentionally. 
And as a result of him creating us in his image, he expects that. And he's made us for that too. He's made us to be intentional. He put Adam and Eve in the garden because it's a garden and it needed tending to. It needed cultivation. And I believe that at this point, the whole world is a garden for the people who are willing to be intentional. And so I just want to encourage you to remember that. Definitely check out, I believe it was episode one, where I talked about the importance of intentionality. And I wanted to encourage you to check out the previous episodes on plantyourseeds.show because I believe that it will be a blessing and it will help you. So I believe that was episode one of season three where I talked about the the importance of intentionality. Yep, that was the one. One of the things that I've been doing with my show notes is not just putting in keywords, but also quoting scripture that I've been placing the scriptures that I've quoted during the podcast into the show notes. So if you happen to listen to um, the podcast and it's not clear what scripture I'm referencing, check out the show notes at plantyourseeds.show to see which scripture it is. Um, One of the main things that I also teach is in terms of business is that you can be so intentional that your small business creates big impact. And I wrote a book about that. It's called Small Biz, uh, Big Impact, But How? Small Biz, Big Impact, But How? Question mark. How Conscious Selfless Servants Impact the World. And um, I talked about that in that first episode also of the season three podcast. I talked about that also so that you can understand what what does it look like when you are intentional what can it look like there are a lot of people in this world who do things differently on purpose they're intentional they do things differently than other people in their industry but they've made huge impact and i talk about a specific case of that in my book, Small Biz Big Impact. So if you like a free copy, go over to smallbizbigimpact.com and request a free copy. This is not a free download. This is um, an interaction. So if you'd like to have it, you will receive an email from me asking you for, <coughs> mm, sorry, <clears throat> asking you for more information. And then once I've gotten your reply, I'll send you the download and my throat needs a little help there um i absolutely want to interact with those of you who have found this podcast um helpful useful inspiring motivational um i would love to interact with you for those of you who this doesn't speak to that's okay you don't have to embrace the same things that um, that I've been talking about, the things that I believe. You don't have to agree with me. That's okay. But for those of you who do, I love, absolutely love to hear back from you. So there are interactive features on whatever podcast platform you're using. You're welcome to use those interactive features to reach out to me. But the most, um, the easiest way to reach me is it plantyourseeds.show forward slash contact or just go over to plantyourseeds.show. All right, so I told you that I was going to let you know more about the, um, the patron, the pre, blah, 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 startup. I told you that I was going to let you know more about how, how you can become a patron. And so I want to give you that information. If you go to plantyourseeds.show, you'll see at the top of the website, um, it there's a uh, menu, or if you're on a mobile device, you'll see in the menu it says support. If you click on support, it will show you more information about how to become a patron, what perks are available for the different levels. One of the perks is 
for those of you watching the YouTube channel, it's a, a cup that will have this on it. Small business is a misnomer. That's something that's really important to understand. And my hashtag small biz big impact. That's something that's really important to understand. I put that information. I talked about that concept in my book, small biz big impact. And I want you to be mindful about that. So I'd love for you to have one of my cups um, as a, as a perk for being a patron. I want you to stay reminded that just because you're called a small business doesn't mean that you make small impact. You can make big impact. So I just want to encourage you about that. But it happens through intentionality. So again, that's why I'm talking about being intentional. You're not going to make big impact by um, a fluke. Yes, people go viral all the time. We talk about virality. Virality is random. It's based off of luck. It can happen and it can disappear just as quick. People forget the media news cycles. They circle through information so quick that people will forget about you if you're just relying on that type of um, sensational buzz. But if you want to be intentional, that's where you make big impact. So I just want to encourage you about that. The other thing I wanted to encourage you um, in terms of going over to the the uh, patron page, I wanted to encourage you to go over to the patron page so you can look at my most recent published posts. It's kind of like a, a little bit of a blog there. And some of the posts are only for patrons. And some of the posts are actually for the public, one of which is a poll. And I would love, absolutely love to have your feedback on my poll. My poll is specifically speaking to those of you who may be in the remote work world or who may be virtual assistants. My poll question is, what scares you about working as a virtual assistant or a remote worker? And I've got several different answers that you can choose from, or you can write in your own, your, your own answer for that question. But I would absolutely, this is part of my marketing uh, research, I would absolutely love to hear from you on what scares you the most about being a virtual assistant or remote worker. So please, again, go to plantyourseeds.show, click on the support menu um, item, and go on over and uh, check out how you can become a patron and click on that link to also see the patron, the patron page, the Patreon page, which will um, give you access to um, not just the patron only items when you become a patron, but also things like the poll. I'd love to get your response to the poll. All right, so again, I am Donna Maria Johnson. On most socials, you can find me under Lead Like a Queen. And also, my one page profile is at authordonnamarie.com. I would absolutely love to connect with you on the socials. I'm not on there very much, but I do check them and I do respond. So feel free to reach out. I hope that you're having a wonderful first quarter of 2022. I hope that whatever you're doing through your, your business, your personal endeavors, I hope that you are uber intentional, that you're ultra intentional, that you are super focused on learning how to be intentional if you're not yet. And if you want my support with becoming more intentional in your journey, as a marketing virtual assistant or some type of remote worker that does marketing work, I would love to support you as your coach. So check out plantyourseeds.show to learn more about or authordonnamarie.com to learn more about what I'm doing as a coach to support my clients. It's wonderful to get a chance to talk with you all again. Thank you so much for listening. I appreciate you so much. Bye-bye. <music>